Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another weekly vlog. I'm just here really, really quick. This is Octavia from the future. So I wanted to come here and make a really quick intro because I realized that I started off this vlog without no hello, wam, wagwa, nothing. Just dry, you know? So I just wanted to come on here really quickly and to say a quick hello and welcome you to the vlog. It's a little bit long, but I know you guys would like that. I know you guys like these long behind vlogs, but I'm happy that you guys like them because I love making them for you. So, um, yeah, a lot went on. Um, sorry for the choppiness. I, you know, it's vlogging can sometimes be a little bit um, challenging because you forget to like introduce what day it is and what's going on. <laughs> You guys know, but just go enjoy the vlog. Let me know what you thought down below and I'll see you in the next one. Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. So currently doing my little morning skincare routine. It's um, about 9 a.m. on a Sunday. Okay, so to tone my skin, I'm going to be using the Clinique number no. two. I did buy my own of all of these products, but they aren't here yet because there's the de delays in like, you know, shipments due to COVID. So I'm so happy that she has them because I love this skincare system. Funny enough, I used to use Clinique, but never the three step, um, like the sets, only like one product from each line. But I really like the cleanser, toning, and the moisturizer for this entire line. And my skin has been doing pretty well from my acne medication, like everything is fading. This is new, she's gonna be here for a while, but everything else, like the overall texture is pretty good. Um, I'm so happy, like I'm so genuinely happy. And because it's been a long time coming, the, the acne scars are gonna take a lot longer to fade, for sure. But like, I can already see the difference in like my skin's texture. Um, it's brightening up a lot. I've been wearing my sunscreen. I was supposed to go for a follow-up um, last week, but I wasn't comfortable doing that considering the COVID thing. I don't wanna like be in any like public place like that, um, like a waiting room and you had to like. So after toning, I'm gonna go in with the moisturizer. Gonna go in with this one here. You know what, now that I'm filming this video, like right here, I should do like a skincare routine right in front of this window. <laughs> but um, this is the very dry to dry combination skin um, moisturizer. So the, with the acne medication, the one thing I'm gonna say about it, it makes your skin, your lips, everything in this region extremely dry. So you do have to really moisturize. Everything is so dry that Carmex is no longer working to moisturize my lips. I now have to use Aquaphor because it's more moisturizing and Carmex just has not been cutting it. Like my skin drinks Carmex like, oh, is this water? I'm always wearing this t-shirt, but I, I will do laundry every single week. So every weekly vlog you see me and I'm wearing it because. So I'm just going to finish up getting ready and then I'm just going to see you guys in the kitchen for breakfast. So we're gonna do like a loaded breakfast mashed potato type of vibe. I love mashed potatoes and I sometimes want to eat them for breakfast. Also the dishwasher's on so sorry for the background noise but it's fine. We are going to be, I'll show you guys the ingredients in a second. Unfortunately I did not bring my tripod here so I can't like show you the angle me cutting but this is really really good because sometimes I definitely want to have mashed potatoes for breakfast and this is how I make myself feel good about doing that by making it into breakfast style um, I wouldn't eat this if you had to go to work though because you're going to feel a little bit heavy <laughs> for sure so just this is like a little eat a lounge food <laughs> So, so far I've chopped up some scallions and I've chopped up some turkey bacon. You're gonna wanna fry this so crispy where when you're eating the mashed potatoes, this is gonna be like your crunch aspect, which is so satisfying. A little crunch in here, you know. And I'm gonna chop up some onion, very little. I just wanna saute this with the spinach because we're gonna add some spinach inside the mashed potatoes as well. 
and we're gonna just put whatever needs to be on the stove on now. My potatoes are pretty much done. Let me just go check on those. So I'm gonna bring you guys over here so you can see into the pot. But when I'm boiling the potatoes, what I do is I literally drop two eggs in here. You can see them right here. Just so they can boil together, you know, you don't have to use a separate pot. Just boil it in the same water. This is pretty much done as you can probably tell, like we're pretty much done with this. Just gonna leave that on for a little moment longer. Let's switch it to the back burner and let's get another pan. So this is the frying pan and I'm just going to add um, the spinach and the bacon in the same pan. It's big enough so I can kind of like have them separated a bit, but this is pretty much what we're working with. And as I said, you want the bacon to be so crispy where it's like literally like so crispy, it's breaking apart. And um, I'm gonna take off the potatoes right now, just pour off the water and stuff, but this is pretty much what we're looking like. So this is pretty much what we have going on right now. Just gonna let that cook for a couple. Okay, let's drain the water from the pan now. I'm just going to get um, the potatoes ready for all the toppings to be, not toppings, the stuff to be added in. Um, so that's good. I'm gonna work on, um, so the potatoes are done. Okay. Oh my God, the eggs are so hot. Woo. All right. I'm gonna give you guys a really quick update though on what the bacon and everything is looking like. So this is what this whole thing is looking like right now. The bacon is basically pretty much crispy. The spinach can be added up um, into it by now because they're pretty much done cooking. So this is what this is gonna look like. The scallions, I'm going to add them in also. But, um, just so they can get a little warm-ish. Then basically just gonna turn that down and let it just stay warm for a little bit. All right, so basically just going to mash this out. Literally just mash it as you would anything. So this is pretty much what it's going to look like, you know, pretty good. So let's talk seasoning. Seasoning this meal is pretty simple. It's literally salt, pepper. Um, I like it a little bit spicy, so this is optional, but a little bit of cayenne pepper is good for the soul. Um, red pepper flakes because, because yeah, because why not? And then I know this one here likes Mrs. Dash. I'm just gonna put a little sprinkling here, you know? Just a little, little dash. Just gonna add that in there. Okay, so once that's done and your thing is all seasoned, you wanna add everything else into the bowl. Literally just add it in here, scrape it in and it's going to be so good. I'm just going to serve this and see how it tastes. So there's really no way to make this look appetizing because it's literally just like a clump of potato, but this is pretty much what it's going to look like. Um, spinach, eggs, everything is pretty much loaded into here and it's so delicious, you guys. Um, definitely let me know if you try it, um, but yeah. I'm going to enjoy this for my breakfast right now, and um, I hope you guys enjoyed this little cooking with me. Alright guys, breakfast was good. Um, right now, we're just having our daily tea intake. Renee's in one of those moods where she doesn't really want to be on camera today. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you just scream? <laughs> it was like a yell, like... <laughs> Anyway, she's in 
that kind of mood where she's like, I look gross, and I want to be on camera. So, I'm not going to put her, but we're just having our little tea and like literally laughing at nothing. <laughs> and um, yeah, we're just, just going to relax. It's a Sunday, it's Easter Sunday. We ordered some um, Jamaican food for dinner from my favorite place, Pimento Grill. I had them in my previous vlog. Then we're going to go grab some bun and cheese because it's not Easter unless we eat that. Renee doesn't like it, but... I like it, but like, I'm more of like a one slice type of girl. Like a whole bun and cheese. You're taking that home. I actually am not going to buy the entire bun. Okay. <laughs> I'm not going to buy the entire bun. <laughs> All right, guys, so this is our dinner that we, um, we we had ordered. I just wanted to show it to you. So we had we got two oxtail dinners, um, a, side, a side of plantain, a side of white rice with curry gravy, but they ran out. And um, I got a little side salad here. And um, we got two St. Mary's banana chips. Um, a little thing here of Saracy tea because... Renee needs to start drinking Cerise to help her because... And then we got two things of butter and cheese. Yay! Oh my god. And the best thing about this entire Jamaican haul, grape nut ice cream, which is... Oh my god, this is the first time they're seeing you on the vlog today. Because you've been like, I don't want to be on camera. So there's Renee. <laughs> so we got some grape nut ice cream and I'm so ready. It's so like a boiling. Should I pour it? Ooh, yeah. Pour it. You do it. Oh my god. Oh my god. I hope I don't spill <laughs> I'm kind of scared. Just, just do it. The juices are going to get everywhere. If it gets on the carpet, I'll really cry. I'll do it. Give me okay. this. I swear to God. <laughs> I swear to God. Oh, because you punked out. You punked out. Because <laughs> you have no faith. <laughs> Wait, it was dirty rag, isn't it? <laughs> this looks so ugly, Octavia. <laughs> yeah, what's spaghetti? <laughs> <laughs> oh my Yours God. is so much saucier. My spaghetti freaking <laughs> sucks up that, everything. <laughs> You're eating the spaghetti. <laughs> oh. Ew. <laughs> I'm just disgusting. This looks so disgusting on yeah. All right, guys. So it's about 10:53 right now. We had breakfast and everything. Um, I didn't really show it because I ended up going on live, and whenever I go on live, I really just get distracted with um, vlogging. I was gonna say I initially only brought clothes for a weekend, so I've honestly just been like skimping. <laughs> I'm gonna bring my big old base bag and we're going to get some additional stuff on the road. So let's go. It's a beautiful day out. So I wanna like take you take you guys out to get some sun. So and we need some uh, sun. Oh my god, we need to, we haven't been outside in so long. Let's we put have my sunscreen on. Oh my god. Alright guys, update. We're still on the road. Um, we're actually heading home now. So, we got the fish. We got everything that we really need for like two meals. But two big meals. So I think we're good. Um, yeah. It was a lot. We had to go buy a mask because we're not allowed entry into the stores without one. And then they started giving us a hard time to buy the mask. Talking about you can't come in here to buy the mask without a but mask then, on. But then I'm just like, how are we gonna get the mask if we can't come in to buy a mask? I mean, what what's gonna happen today? So we, this delivery guy, he's a truck driver that drops off like supplies to Walgreens, Rite Aid, all those stores. He was like, hey, if you wanna go to this place and buy a mask I just dropped some off so you can go grab it and I'm like oh my god that literally came that was in so clutch. yeah that was so 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 clutch because we would have came home and had to grab yeah just really sorry because I would not have gone back mm -mm. made some cup of noodles and call it a day exactly so <laughs> alright guys so this is what we got from the Jamaican store let me just move that so we got a can of Kalaloo some pumpkin fish tea got this random thing Plantain, banana, scotch bonnet pepper, some thyme. But don't worry, you'll see all this in action on my cooking video that I'm going to make for the steamed fish. So don't worry. 
and then some okra. Then Frené made us some um, vodka. Is it vodka? Like strawberry? Cran strawberry with um, club and vodka. Just kind of a little afternoon buzz. <laughs> then our red snapper is here. I'm gonna put it in the fridge until we are ready for it. But I'm just going to edit a couple of videos while we're here. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, I'm here with... <laughs> that was not cute. So for the ingredients, we have green banana, scotch bonnet pepper, we have thyme, we have some pumpkin, and we have some okra or okra, whatever you want to call it. You're going to need your fish tea soup flavored mix. Then you're going to need your callaloo. Then you're going to need your scallion, which is very important as well. And then All right, so Renee cut up the okra, as you saw, and now we slice up some pumpkin to boil because Renee likes to eat this for some reason. So, I love pumpkin. <laughs> so this is gonna just go in the the um the pot the with the dumpling, the banana, and everything else that you may need. And she's also gonna slice uh, slice up a scotch bonnet pepper because. We like this to be very spicy, but that's just our preference. Don't do this, please, if you don't like spicy Not food. Not for the week. Not for the week. All right, so Thank while you. she's finishing that up, I'm gonna get started on the flour for the, for the dumpling. And let me just say this really quickly before I even show you how to make it. If you were on a diet of any sort, <laughs> I would advise you not to learn how to make this. The moment I learned how to make this dish is honestly where my fitness life just tanked. <laughs> but it's basically two cups of flour, and basically that's what it's gonna look like. And I have about like a teaspoon of salt, if that. I really don't know how to, you know. And basically what you're gonna do here is you're going to just Add some water to this, and you're gonna turn it into like a dough, a dough kind of vibe. But it's literally only flour and water, if we're really <laughs> being specific here. It's really only flour and water, and you wanna use cold water for this. You're just gonna stir this up so it can get to like a really good doughy consistency. Um, it's really easy to do. I like to start the process with, um, a spoon first because I just don't like to touch this entire thing unless until it's like almost ready. So that's pretty much what we're working with. And Renee's gonna take the camera and kind of like show you what it's mixing like. As you guys can see, it's starting to like get kind of clumpy. Um, this is good. It can use a little bit more water though. So we're gonna add that in there. And you're honestly just folding it over into itself and just repeatedly doing this part until it's smooth and not like, you know. You'll know when it's done because it's gonna look really nice and smooth. So far, flour's ready. Our little produce stuff is ready. And then we're gonna get started on the fish and it's currently in the sink right now. All right, we good. I'm just gonna wash it off a little bit. All right, so right now I'm just gonna cut the fish head off of the fish because we're gonna save this for another day for fish soup. So um, we're just gonna cut the fish head off, as I said, and um, save the head for a soup another day. So this can just stay here. Put that in there for a second. And then I'm just gonna open the slit for the snapper a little bit more, only because we are gonna stuff this with Kalaloo. I feel like I can. I can do it. We 
really don't need salt anywhere on this dish. Right now, so this is what the calamari is going to look like. I basically just have some salt and pepper on it. I keep this part pretty plain when it comes to seasoning because it's gonna get um, flavored by the broth from the steamed fish anyways, so you don't have to worry too much about seasoning this part too much because the fish is gonna season this part anyways. And then on this burner, we have the water boiling in preparation for the produce, but we're kinda running behind because of filming, so. So for the steamed fish, what I use to season so for the steamed fish, what I use to season is pretty much this thing here. So it's the Caribbean tradition um, fish seasoning, and that's what it looks like. Can you guys see? Fish seasoning, this is the main thing that I use. Um, you can find this at like your typical like Jamaican market or anything, or if you know how to season your fish on your own, you can just do that. And then I also added some garlic powder, oh, I'm sorry, I also, I also added some onion powder. Then I added some garlic powder, a little pinch of salt, like the bare minimum of salt I added in here, only because a lot, this meal has a lot of salt from other places, such as the fish tea mix that we're going to use, so we're not gonna put too much salt in here. What did you put? It's the scotch bonnet and onions. Okay. And then to the left, right here, we have the stuffed um, fish with the callaloo. Our skin came off a little bit, but that's fine. Whatever. It will all steam up anyway. So now, before things get really crazy, we're going to need to put the fishes in here. So, step back a little bit. Just gonna place them nice and gently in the pan. So something like that. And we have two fishes, so you wanna make sure that the, you know, they have room in here to steam or whatever. You know, so, something like that. So we're gonna just take this thing now, and what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna pour it into like a bowl, only because I wanna be able to mash it out but it's the fish tea mix. I'm just gonna add some water to this. I just wanna do a little bit of water in the fish tea like that. And just want to just pour this in the, in the pan. Don't worry, it's supposed to do that. <laughs> then we're just going to drop all our okra in here. Just to kind of get, you know, you can turn this down a little bit also. So our okra is in here. And you're gonna wanna put your thyme in here also so that can, you know, cook and something. Mm. We're just gonna drop this, um, some scallion in here also for some flavor. I'm just gonna drop another scotch bonnet in here. And because, you know, we like it hot, I'm gonna pop it out a little bit. We don't have any carrots to give it color or anything like that. And you're gonna just allow this to simmer for, um, I don't know, like 30 minutes or so. With the lid on, let it steam and do its thing and get started on like your provisions. So Renee is now rolling the dumplings. All right guys, so here's an update on the food. We have the banana boiling here, the pumpkin. And then we have the steamed fish on the stove. It's doing very well right now, so. Are you excited? Yay! Again, thanks for watching.